back again back after two weeks I think yes and I'm so sorry for not being as active as what I always promised to be but from today I am genuinely gonna make it a point to at least upload one video at least every three to four days you know than than one video every one to two weeks uh, three to four weeks, uh, three to four days, <laughs> not three to four weeks. Three to four days is what I am gonna strive for. So with that being said, today I have a foundation routine. Now this is using the Dyna airbrush system. Um, this is what the airbrush looks like. This is the airbrush. It comes with a pipe. This is the compressor. I have it in champagne and it comes with its own electrical cord. Uh, there are a few things that have to be kept in mind when you use airbrush. One is that your skin has to be completely clean and it has to be clean from products. I don't use a primer when I'm using airbrush but for some reason if you're a person who cannot live without a primer I would suggest that you wait for at least 10 to 15 minutes before uh, applying the airbrush. Uh, with choosing your shades this is again through trial and error that I have realized. Uh, you will have to choose a shade which is at least one shade lighter than yours. Why? Because uh, once you apply the airbrush on your face, it tends to become dark. So that is what I have realized uh, with a trial and error. I don't use concealer as, as you will see in the video. So with that being said, we'll quickly move into the video. Now the video is a voiceover because I want to save time and also I want to make the length of the video shorter. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, I will see you without my makeup so please don't get scared because I have like a really big acne over here. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. So I start off with a clean product free face. I use two foundations by Dynair. One is Honey Beige and the other one is the Dark Golden Beige. I mix the two foundations and I use approximately five drops of each. To mix the foundation, I block the nozzle with a tissue and I pull the knob backwards in such a way that the foundation kind of froths up. Maintaining a gap of at least six inches between the airbrush and my face, I spray the foundation uh, all over my face in a side to side sweeping motion as well as in round circular motions. For my acne and blemishes I spray a little extra product only on those areas. I do this not only for my acne and blemishes but for any redness which is commonly across my nose and around my mouth. I also spray the product all around my eyes to hide my dark circles. I keep spraying the foundation in different areas until it's even. I also spray the foundation down my neck because I don't want my face and my neck to look different. The next step is for people who like dewy finish and not a matte finish. Dyna makes something called Moist and Dewy which is supposed to give you that dewy finish. Now you have to be very careful with this. You just need like one drop, literally one drop and you just have to spray it all over your face. You can add it to your leftover foundation or you could clean the airbrush and then use the Moist and Dewy. Powdering your face is totally optional. I would suggest that you use a powder foundation instead of a compact. done with the video and this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope I was clear enough uh, I hope it, I hope it actually kind of made sense to all of you uh, if you liked what I just did then please to subscribe please to comment rate my videos spread the word because that's what keeps me going you know I need your guys motivation I need your guys support because that's what keeps me motivated and uh, enthusiastic about the whole uh, YouTube filming thing so uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.